Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. As always, I'm so happy to have you. So happy to be here doing this for you guys. This is going to be a reading for the collective. So Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, welcome. Thank you guys so much for all of your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. Thank you for all of your support. I appreciate you guys so, so much. Thank you. Um, I am going to tap in here. I'm picking up on some energy. I feel like somebody wants to mend fences. Somebody wants to fix things is what I keep hearing. Something to do about somebody wanting to fix something, fix things, right? Um, so we're going to go ahead and tap into the message. Remember, this is a collective reading. It is for all signs and it is a timeless reading. So whenever this reaches you, please take what resonates and leave the rest, right? So let's go ahead and tap in here, you guys. Please remember to only take what resonates, leave the rest. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. What is the message for the collective? Please give us a clear message for the collective. Who regrets this situation? Somebody regrets this, right? Let's go ahead and tap in on how this person currently feels. What are, what are their intentions towards you, right? Um, what do they plan on doing? Or Yeah, like let's go ahead and tap in here. What do we got here? Okay. Uh, oh, well, we got pride in the way. Pride is definitely in the way. We got somebody with a big ego, a big old ego that's in the way, right? Mm-hmm. Let's see what else is their feelings here. Oh, somebody's got a bright idea. Divine Feminine. Mm, I'm seeing some strategic planning, right? Somebody wants to gain something. You. Uh-huh. Oh, adventure. Mm, an explorer. I'm seeing passion. There could be traveling involved here. This person may want to take you somewhere, travel with you, right? Oh, marionette, right? I'm seeing something about a puppet. Yeah. I'm picking up on pulling the puppet string, somebody trying to control someone. This could be that could have been the energy in the past with regards to this person. Yeah, there could have been some controlling energy, right? Yeah. What else? What are their feelings towards divine feminine? Give us more. What do we have here? Oh, sweet dreams. This person could definitely be dreaming about you. You could be dreaming about this person also, Divine Feminine. Yeah. Let's see. What does this person, what does this person think about Divine Feminine? What are the feelings towards Divine Feminine? What's blocking this situation? Okay. Friendship. Did you friend zone this person? You could have friend zoned this person, Divine Feminine. Yeah, you could have friend zone zoned this masculine. Okay, here's this coach card coming up. And this always gives me the energy that there's a third party interference. And it doesn't have to be a romantic third party. This could be a family member. This could be a friend. Somebody that is trying to coach someone. When it's somebody in this situation. Okay, giving them advice. I'm seeing justice. Okay, yeah. So it's like there's somebody, I'm getting confirmation here. Somebody could have been advising this person. This came out my last reading, right? Or somebody could be getting advice from this person about you, how to come towards you, Divine Feminine. Yeah, I'm seeing Marionette though. With that like Marionette, that puppet pulling at the puppet strings, why is that here? Withdrawal, right? So somebody's cleaning up their act, okay? So they could be withdrawing from a situation or somebody could be withdrawing from um, bad habits. So it could be... Um, Drinking, smoking, um, chemical substances. I'm seeing somebody kicking a habit or either pulling away or either awakening or all of all of the above, right? Yeah. What else do we have here, Spirit? Please give us more for the collective. What is going on here? Yeah. 
you're heavy on somebody's mind, Divine Feminine. Here's this daydreaming card, right? I feel like this person is really not paying attention. They're really not present because you're heavily on their mind, right? So they're very distracted by thoughts of you dreaming about you, daydreaming about you, right? Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. What else we got here? Mm-hmm. This person is ready. I'm seeing ready. Yeah, I feel like all of a sudden, like emotions kicked in for this person about you, right? They just automatically, it was like something that just clicked. Yeah, but I feel like there could have been, I don't know if there was somebody that came in between this connection. I'm seeing stubbornness, right? So this could have been something to where as you tried to tell this masculine something and they didn't listen, that's what I'm picking up on, right? That could be what was blocking this connection, something to do with communication. Somebody could have had an accident, right? Yeah, something to do with an accident, right? And I'm seeing compromise. Yeah, so there could have been some communication issues, right? This person may not have been emotionally available, um, not communicating with you, or you guys having issues with regards to communication with one another, um, could have been uh, a lack of intimacy, a lack of closeness, right? I feel like this is somebody that's coaching them on how to come back towards you, right? Yeah, because this person definitely wants to fix things, right? But there's somebody trying to dig up dirt on you or something. I'm seeing evidence, somebody trying to play a detective, but acting like they care. Okay, now wait a minute. Yeah. This masculine may have a, I'm picking up on a feminine energy, a feminine friend, maybe somebody that's acting like they're, look, wearing a mask. That's who came in between you guys. There it is. I knew it. There was something. They have a feminine energy, a feminine friend, right? That came in between you guys. This is somebody that's, I feel like, acting like they're this masculine's best friend, but they really have a romantic interest is what's coming out here. Ciao. Yeah, but they want to fix things with you. This masculine wants to fix things with you. I don't even know if this masculine realizes that it was this friend that caused this issue, but I feel like they now realize that you were a gift. You were a gift. You were what they manifested, right? And they want to reconcile, okay? But I, is it too late is the question, right? Oh, protest, right? So there could be some conflict going on. Yeah, I feel like this is a friend that's wearing a mask. Oh, look, a natural disaster, right? So there's going to be some conflict, some strong winds. I'm seeing an emotional storm, y'all. Yeah, somebody's saving. Oh, okay, so somebody's getting ready to change their situation. Maybe, the, oh, so this masculine just may know what's going on. I'm seeing stop. Oh, uh, and curse. They feel like this person cursed or put a hex on your relationship. This feminine friend, that's why that's coming out here, right? Somebody could have came into some money. Yeah, I'm seeing something to do with a lottery ticket. Or this person could feel like you were their good luck charm. You were like a lottery ticket. Something that happens once in a lifetime and they fumbled it. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like this is what they're now realizing about you, right? I feel like they were blind in the past. They couldn't see it, right? Look what I just tell you. A good luck charm, right? You see the elephant, right? Yeah, this is, they're seeing you as a gift. They are seeing you as a gift, like their good luck charm, right? This person is sick without you. Mm-hmm. They're now realizing that they messed up the best thing that they ever had is what I'm getting, right? Yeah. And I feel like, I feel like this friend was wearing a mask is what I'm picking up on, but now the mask is coming off. And the thing of it is, they may have said something negative about you, Divine Feminine, and this masculine, they still don't play about you, right? So this masculine's like, um, had to check them, and I feel like there may be some conflict, because it's like, you're sticking up for them, I thought you were over them, you know, I feel like they're arguing, something like that. 
Look, eternal love. It ain't going nowhere. Oh, this is a divine counterpart. Yeah, this love ain't going nowhere. Oh, okay. I wonder if it... Chow. They're wondering if it's too late, divine feminine. I'm going to see. Chow. Look, sweetheart. This person is still into you, right? I feel like this person did try and disconnect their emotions for a period of time, but now that they realize you are the gift, right? They seen something in you very early on is what I'm getting, right? Yeah. They seen their, they seen their happily ever after in you. Early on, they knew this. But I feel like, you know, there was this, this is a karmic, this person, this friend of theirs, this is a karmic. And I feel like I picked up on this energy in the previous reading. Yeah. What the heck? Chow. I feel like this is, this is a karmic situation. I feel like this friend has a romantic interest, right? Spirit, please give us more. Please give us more for the collective. Yeah, little sneaky hidden motives, right? It's coming to light, right? They know that it was a bad choice moving on from you, right? Mm-hmm. I feel like they have realized that you were a gift. That's what they realized about you, right? They realized that they wanted you to be there happily ever after, right? I feel like... I feel like this person, this karmic, I'm picking up on the energy. They're like, you feel like they're so great. Like he's so great or she's so great, right? Yeah, it's like the jealousy is coming out regarding this connection, right? Mm-hmm. But they don't play about you even when you're not around. Mm-hmm. That's being revealed right here. I see that, right? Spirit, please give us a clear message for the collective. Please give us a clear message for the collective. They want to fix things, right? Oh, they love Divine Feminine, how Divine Feminine carries themselves, right? They can see that you're very poised, right? Very poised energy. You're their yin. Mm-hmm. And you're loyal, a loyal heart, right? Look at these cards, poised. That's the way you carry yourself. You're different because you're a Divine Feminine. But then I'm also seeing here yin. They see that you're the yin to their yang. And also to a loyal heart. They haven't been able to find anyone that matches your energy. How could they? There's only one. I'm just saying. Treasure Island. They knew you were the gift. You were the treasure, right? Confirmation. Truth be told. Exchanging gifts, right? Yes, you are the gift, right? I feel like you were a gift by the, from the divine to them, right? You're what they manifested and they fumbled it. They allowed someone to come in between it, right? I feel like you guys shared a connection stronger than what you realized. Other people recognized it like this friend, this karmic friend. But the time is ticking on that, right? Look, because they want to mend things with you. I told you. They want to mend fences. They want to fix things with you, right? Yep. What else we got, Spirit? What else we got? Yeah. They, they want to make things right. They want to fix us. I feel like they know that you are the one for them, right? And they're the one for you, right? Mm-hmm. I'm hearing like you know we're smart enough to realize this or something like that, right? Yeah. Yep. What else we got, Spirit? Please give us more for the collective. Please give us more. I feel like... It may shock you. This person may cry. This person could have cried about being without you. Yeah. Look, community, right? Something to do with the community. I feel like there's a lot of jealous energy around this, right? But... This person really wasn't able to um, be vulnerable or open up their emotions is what I'm getting. There could be some type of um, attachment 
It could be an avoidant attachment, attachment style, something like that, right? Yeah, what else do we have here, Spirit? What else do we have for the collective? Wow. Look, they're willing to go the distance now for this connection. Mm-hmm. Yep. They are willing to go the distance for this connection, you guys. They want to put in more effort than they did in the past, right? Mm-hmm. No more glossing over things and looking the other way. They want to fix this. They want to work on this, right? Yeah. You're like a breath of fresh air to them. Period. Yep. What else we got, Spirit? Mm-hmm. They've realized a lot since they've been apart from you. They have definitely realized a lot. What else do we have, Spirit? Please give us more, right? I feel like this person does want you back, right? And I feel like this person will reach out. So they are going to break contact. I feel like you guys could be in a no contact situation, right? Could be some Capricorn energy. So you could have Capricorn in your chart, right? Or this person could be a Capricorn. But I feel like this needed to be done, right? I feel like something was, wasn't, was something with this connection was off. So I feel like there, I feel like this was a catalyst. I feel like this was a necessary cycle, right? To be fair. Yeah. So again, you guys could definitely have a soul connection, a soul contract, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. I swear I pick up on that energy a lot, right? Look, this person is definitely imagining how things would be if you two mended things, if you guys fix things, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. What else do we have here? What was that about? Mm. And making things and, and coming back together is what I'm getting. Regeneration, right? Um, I feel like the resurgence of what you guys had in the past, the love, the relationship, but I feel like this person wants to rege a regeneration even more, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel like this person didn't really know what was happening initially. I feel like this was a very strong connection that you guys shared, and I feel like this it's now being illuminated because you guys are apart. And again, this could be a no-contact situation, or it could just be... Um, a separation. This person's cleaning things up. Mm-hmm. They're cleaning it up, right? Mm-hmm. They're getting themselves together is what I'm getting. Somebody could be burning candles also. Yeah, like somebody could really like candles. That could be you, Divine Feminine, just relaxing. I'm picking up on some candles. Could be scented candles. Oh, I'm picking up on scented candles. Oh, no. Yeah. Something to do with the candle holder, right? Yeah. Something illuminating, a lumiere, something like that. Yep. What else we got, Spirit? Yeah. This is going to be a major turning point for you, though. For you guys in this connection, that's what I'm getting because I'm seeing a deep knowing, right? So you guys are coming into a deep knowing. I feel like trust is going to be rebuilt with you guys. So, but I feel like this is something to do with this friend, right? This is someone that was a friend. This is someone that was a friend, okay? <sighs> This masculine's friend. And I feel like it's a feminine that came in between the two of you guys, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like this is the truth, right? Yeah, they were the ones that were in this masculine's ear, right? Because I feel like this masculine really trusted this person. They run a lot of things past them. Mm-hmm. But I feel like this friend has a romantic interest in this masculine. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. Please give us more. Yeah. Ciao. They know this was a bad choice, though. They're definitely regretting how things went with you guys. Look, they want to rebuild. I'm seeing building blocks. So we got building blocks. We got mending, fixing this. We have um, imagination, right? Regeneration. This person is imagining how things would be for you guys. Um if things were to work out. I feel like this person is wondering if it's too late. 
if they still have a chance with you, right? I feel like this person could have definitely been doing some spiritual cleansing. Could be um, taking spiritual baths. I definitely feel like this person wishes they could turn back the hands of time, right? And that, that card came out, right? TikTok, right? This person wishes they could go back in time and erase what took place, right? But they definitely want a new beginning with you. Look, home. No place like home, right? Mm-hmm. And they do see you as a blessing, divine feminine, right? And they've come to the edge, right? This person's on edge being without you. And again, I feel like this person, it was this third party, this friend that planted the seeds of doubt in this person's head, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Chow. I'm telling you what, some of these people are just so busy, right? Like, mm, 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 mm. what else do we have here? Unfinished symphony. Mm -hmm. So this is not finished between you guys, right? Yeah, this is not finished. Not by a long shot. Nope, this person is still going to be coming back around to you. Um, they're coming back to offer you something big this time, right? That's what I'm getting. So this is something, this is a, a like a more, more of a commitment. I can't even talk, you guys, right? Look, a new life. This person wants to change your life. This person could have come into money or something like that also, because I'm seeing new life, changing your life, right? So... You may have thought that their emotions went out to sea and they definitely forgot about things, right? Or, you know, they just moved on, but they haven't. This person has not moved on. No, not at all. They want to fix things with you, right? They haven't cut you off or cut off their emotions or even the idea of being with you, right? This is a never-ending story, child. This love story is just now beginning. Look, this person is thinking about you. You see I, the cards are falling all over the place? I feel like this person may be fumbling over their words when they come back towards you or whenever you guys communicate. Um, they want to, they're, they're coming back. They want to show you that they can be the person that you deserve is what I'm getting, right? But I'm definitely seeing this person sitting here thinking, right? Their head and their hands trying to figure out a strategic plan. All the glitters is not gold. They see that you are one of a kind, one in a million. Aaliyah, <laughs> your love is a one in a million. It goes on and on and on. That's what I'm saying, round and round and round. It don't stop. Fork in the road. Mm-hmm. It's time to it's time to come back towards you. That's what I'm getting. That's the energy I'm getting, right? This person's like, I gotta go get my divine feminine. What the, what have I been doing? Right? The person that makes me happy. Four leaf clover. That milk and honey. Milk and honey. Chow. Mm-hmm. Milk and honey. Y'all, let's go to the tarot. And see what's going on here for you guys, right? Yeah. They're definitely coming back to offer you something big, though. Something, this is something different, is what I'm getting, right? Mm hmm. This is, I feel like this is going to be a shocker for a lot of people, right? Mm hmm. This is something that is going to be shocking. I feel like for the community, I keep hearing the community, right? I feel like they've changed, right? There is definitely a transformation with this person. They've changed, okay? Um, I feel like they want a future with you. Um, but I feel like they want to make something official, right? So I feel like I'm picking up maybe in the past you thought that they were making an excuse, but this person has definitely done some introspection. They've definitely went in within. I feel like lessons have been learned since you guys have been apart. Um, you were this person's peace is what I'm getting, okay? Um, 
I feel like they've been in hermit mode, getting clarification, okay? Definitely that hermit energy is what I'm dealing with, okay? But I feel like this was only supposed to be temporary, but now they're afraid that you've moved on. They feel like you have moved on because I feel like this person's been in hermit mode. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the only person that's been around them, I feel like, is this quote unquote friend, right? That's getting pissed off because it's not going in their favor. Things are not going in their favor, not how they planned, right? Yeah, this was not set in stone, this separation in this person's heart, in their mind. Mm -mm, not at all, right? Nope. Hierophant, I told you. Something big, right? I feel like there is going to be a commitment. This person could be asking you to um, be in union with them. I'll say that, right? They do see you as the empress, okay? So they seem very beautiful, very strong, very alchemist energy, right? You're where they want to be. You're where they want to settle down. You're where they want to be. Divine feminine. Yes. Yep. Mm-hmm. I feel like this isn't what you thought, right? I feel like you thought that this person was like completely just gone. Gone with the wind, never to see them again. Oh, no, 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 right? Mm -mm, mm -mm. I feel like you read this wrong or you were reading this wrong. Look, there we go. Ace of Cups, y'all. That's This is the card you want to see. And this has been coming out a lot too lately. Spring is in the air. But again, this is a timeless message. But I'm hearing spring is in the air, right? Spring fever, child. This is an abundant beginning regarding to regarding love right that is an abundant beginning right that's like the cup runneth over a lot of love a lot of emotions a very dynamic loving beginning is what I'm getting right mm -hmm. yeah like I feel like I feel like you read the situation wrong or we're reading the situation wrong mm-hmm I don't know why I'm hearing somebody like eating, like somebody could just be like sitting back overindulging in food, right? Like just stress. This could be this masculine, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What else do we have? Look, we have the Wheel of Fortune. We got the Ace of Cups and we got the Wheel of Fortune, y'all. And then look what the next card is. I told you I was picking up on that soul connection. Here is the Four of Wands again, y'all. I keep seeing this card a lot lately, too. I'm telling you, love is in the air, right? Love is in the air. But this is definitely that 1111 energy. You see that? Mm-hmm. 1111, I'm seeing a union. You see the people here on the card? That's what I was saying. I was picking up on with the Hierophant card. It's like this Hierophant is next to the Empress, wanting to commit to the Empress, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, look at these cards. And I feel like they won't rest until they have things this way. That's what I'm getting. This person can't rest until they have things this way. That's what I was picking up on a bit of anxiety, maybe some depression, right? This person, like I said, could be doing eating, you know, or something like that, right? Comfort foods is what I'm getting. Yeah, look, huh. This, see, this is commitment. This is commitment, not resting until they're in commitment with you, Divine Feminine. Child, huh. whoever came in between you guys or tried to, they couldn't stop this connection. But the next thing is, mm, they about to be mad, mad. Look, This person's moving on, coming towards you, right? I feel like this masculine is elevating. I feel like this masculine is getting on a higher frequency. And because they're getting on a higher frequency, when you level up, when you are when you uh, ascend, when you begin to awaken, right? Somebody could be an ascendant master here as well. But when you begin to ascend, you begin to awaken, right? 
you tend to detach from people that are no longer aligned with you. And I feel like this karmic friend, they're detaching from them, right? They're moving on away from that. Look, coming towards you, Cancer Energy, there we are. We have the chariot card, right? This person is nostalgic for you, the past. And also, too, past life connection I'm picking up on, right? So you guys could definitely have a soul contract is what I'm getting, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But this, this karmic is definitely not who they said they were or who they say they are, because guess what? The mask came off. We seen that earlier. The mask came off. Their true intentions are coming out, is what I'm getting, right? Mm-hmm. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is a soul contract, something from the 5D to be completed here in the 3D. I feel like you guys have been through multiple lifetimes together. I pick up on that energy a lot. I'm picking up on that energy here with the Six of Cups, right? So this is someone that you have been with in the past, but this is also a past life connection as well. Look, Hermit card. Told you. Picked up on that Hermit energy, right? And then what did I tell you? New beginning. Mm-hmm. A new beginning. Here is the full card here, right? So you're going to get clarification on this person's true feelings, their true intentions, right? But I'm getting that they've realized that you, you are a gift. You were the gift that they manifested. You were the gift from the divine. You were with who they were asking for, right? And here comes the love offering. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're going to get a message from this person. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel like this person is now realizing that they should have made a better choice, okay? They should have chose better with regards to how they moved and how they went on this information from this person, but I definitely feel like they see you as a priority. Um, I feel like they realize that you are a divine feminine, so you don't chase anyone, right? So maybe they're used to people chasing them. This masculine could definitely be used to um, getting a lot of attention, but you didn't chase them, right? Mm -hmm. So I feel like, remember I said that pride and that ego in the beginning I picked up on? Yep. So I feel like that could have shocked them, right? Because you didn't react, right? Yep. What else we got, spirit? I feel like they will come back. You will get a message from this person, right? Something about the lotus flower. Again, look, the person I keep picking up on that energy, right? With the lotus flower. It's like, or the phoenix rising coming out of very rough situations or coming out of difficult, muddy situations, out of the ashes, emerging, right? I'm seeing triumphant. Mm-hmm. What else do we have? Yeah. What else do we have here, right? I feel like you're very tapped in though, right? So you could be picking up on this energy, Divine Feminine. I feel like, you know, I feel like you can feel this masculine's energy. I feel like there could be some telepathic communication going on here. We just dropped a bunch of cards. Hold on. Let me grab them. Yeah. You could also, with this transformative energy, you could also be seeing butterflies and moths and things like that that symbolize transformation, right? Change, right? Because, again, I feel like you may be, this person may not be used to a divine feminine and with divine feminine embodies. And again, I feel like there was ego at play. And like I said, when you didn't chase this person, that awakened them. Mm -hmm. That awakened them. Like, wait a minute. Who is this person? Yeah. Yeah. Now they're, they want to know more about Divine Feminine, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. But they definitely allowed their ego to get in the way. And also, what this person was telling them is what I'm getting, right? Look, Queen of Cups, that nurturing, loving energy, I'm telling you, it gets them every time when it's a divine feminine, right? Uh-huh. Yep. 
It gets them every time. They want that back, right? You're a healer. Light worker, star seed, right? Mm-hmm. What else do we have here, spirit? I feel like there is some spying energy. This person could be definitely watching you on social media, trying to keep up with you, right? Look, I'm seeing a rush of communication coming towards you. And the thing of it is you may not be very active on social media, so it's not easy for this person to keep tabs on you. But I do see this person wants to win at all costs. Yeah, but you're not someone that puts a lot of stuff on social media if you're on there. That's the type of energy I'm getting, right? Mm-hmm. What else we got, Spirit? Yeah. I feel like you're the one for them. I don't feel like they see it any other way. Period. Nope. What else we... Whoa. Whoa. What else we got, Spirit? Oh, these cards are going everywhere. Look. I'm seeing a decision. They made a decision to come toward you. Look. Mm-hmm. Unbridled joy and happiness, right? Yep. Oh, yes. And I feel like they've never had somebody that was as classy as you are, right? Yeah, and I feel like you may be a bit hesitant because this may be something unexpected, right? This person coming towards you. So, mm -hmm. what else we got, Spirit? Please give us more. Yeah, there's this friend. I don't know, like... Child, they could even live together. Could be a roommate situation. I don't know. But I feel like that's wrapping up. That's wrapping up. I feel like you you were uncomfortable about this relationship. Uh-huh. In the past. I definitely see that, right? Yeah. I feel like... I feel like... You you felt like there was some betrayal or the potential of betrayal. You're you have psychic gifts. You're intuitive. You tapped in on this energy with this person is what I'm getting initially, right? You didn't care for this friend. You felt though there as though there were hidden motives with them, right? Yeah. And now here it's all up in flames, right? Mm-hmm. What else we got, Spirit? Here you were right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel like it only hurt the relationship and pushed you away is what I'm getting or pushed you guys apart. Uh-huh. Yep. What else we got here? Look, happily ever after. Yes. This is what this person wanted with you, right? I feel like you guys wanted this with each other. <sighs> I'm telling you, these karmics and these third parties be messy. This person wants to rebuild with you. This person wants to build with you in the future, right? Mm-hmm. Definitely could have been some hidden emotions. I'm not picking up on deceit. There's a third party. There's a third wheel here. That's what caused this heartache between you guys. But look, this person, didn't I tell you this person? Here's a magician card. This person has been manifesting you, right? You have everything that this masculine wants and needs, period, point blank. That's what I got, right? Mm-hmm. I feel like they're obsessed with you. They're missing you, right? And I feel like this is going to be a really big offer coming towards you. Look, it might be a little crazy. You might feel like, wait, what? Because it's going to catch you off guard. Look, no, this person's serious. We got the King of Swords here trying to change your circumstances. Queen of Pentacles. Look at this, right? Mm, that difficult ending really changed things, right? Look, harvest. This person wants to end this cycle with you. Look, here's how they coming back. Y'all got a lot of passion. Ooh, y'all something else. There is a lot of magnetic attraction between you guys, right? I feel like you're going to get an unexpected apology coming towards you. Yeah, but I feel like, look, this person wants you so bad. Look at that. We got the Ace of Wands, right? <laughs> yeah, coming with that wand. Look, I'm keeping a PG. All right, so you guys, I am seeing here, they know that there's work to do. But I'm seeing, look, an abundant beginning, an abundant new beginning. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles right next to each other. 
Didn't I tell you this person was watching you? Uh-huh. Aquarius energy there. But this person, I'm seeing abundant new beginning with you, right? I feel like this person wants to spoil you. So whoever this third party friend that wants the romantic or has still has romantic interest for this masculine is getting ready to be real, real mad. Look, there's the conflict right there. I feel like they were upset before and they're upset now, right? That this masculine is seeing you as a priority, right? Mm hmm I feel like they thought that there was some competition, you versus them. You Divine Feminine versus this car maker, this third party. Child, please, look. You tame this player. Uh-huh. You tame this masculine. Yes, you did. Leo energy on the board. Okay, you could be a Leo. Your person could be a Leo. You could have Leo in your chart. This person is delusional and mad. Look, we have a star card here. Heavy Aquarius energy. That star card is giving a... Good omen for this union, for this connection. So this person definitely does want to fix things with you, right? They want to make up for lost time. I feel like this person is hoping it's not too late, but you are going to receive a message from this person, okay? You guys, I'm going to go ahead and leave this reading here, okay? Thank you guys so, so much. And I will see you guys for your next reading. Until next time, guys, take care. Love you. Bye.